I'm going to show you how to get some instant gratification using a Raspberry Pi Pico and some WS2812B LEDs. We'll copy over some example code, get these running, and then have a bit of a play with it to see what we can change. Let's get started. These LEDs come in lots of different shapes and sizes, often on flexible strips or as circuit board modules. You also might hear them by certain trade names like NeoPixel or Globit. I'll be using a Globit module today because it's guaranteed to work with 3.3 volt logic. You can usually get these WS2812B strips to work with 3.3 volt logic, but every now and again, it may not work and may need some logic level conversion. We won't go into that today. Suffice to say, Globits use the latest version of these LEDs, which will always work with 3.3 volt logic. I'll be using some of these springy clip connectors today, but if you have pins on your Pico or a breadboard, that will work really well too. Let's begin by wiring the Pico up to the LEDs. I flipped the Pico upside down, so maybe you can see the pin labels. Always a good idea to unplug your Pico from power when you're doing any wiring. I'll first make the ground connection with this black lead. So I'll pick one of the ground points on the Pico and connect that to the big ground tab on this rainbow. With my red lead, I'm going to connect VBUS, which is the top pin. You'll see these labels are compressed under this mounting hole. That's okay, with the latest WS2812B version five LEDs, they're happy to run at either three or five volts. And finally, my yellow lead, I'm going to connect to GP22. and that will connect to the data connection on the rainbow. I'm happy that this is connected correctly, so I'm going to connect my Pico to my computer. Time to fire up the Thony editor. If you don't know what this is, check out the linked video where we set up Thony to program the Pico. Now, if you're not already on the article for this video, follow the link and we'll grab some example code to paste into Thony. With that code copied, I'm going to create a new script and just paste it in. Scrolling to the top, there are two important parameters. The number of LEDs that you're working with, I have 13 on my rainbow, and the pin number that is going to control the LEDs. This is the data pin, and I'm using GP22 today. Here we go, let's run the script. It's just going to prompt me for a save, and I will go into my documents, into code. This is where I like to keep my code. I'll call this rainbow.py. All right. So we have some beautiful scrolling patterns on the rainbow. Let's have a look at the code and see what we can change. Scrolling down, we can see there's a brightness parameter, so we can increase the brightness. This will be a value between zero and one. And then there's a lot of inline uh, assembly code for driving the strip. There's a few functions. This is, these are the, the useful functions for say, filling the whole strip with a certain color or picking a color from the color wheel. Down here, we have some color definitions. So we can see that red is 25500, green is 02550, and blue is 00255. And this is the red, green, blue color format. So by adjusting amounts of red, green, and blue, we can mix those together to create different colors. I can't see the color orange in this list anywhere. I'm quite fond of orange. So I'm going to find a hex code and create that color. I've gone to colorhex.com and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna search for orange. So we can see the RGB code for orange for this type of orange is 255, 165, zero. Moving back to the Python script, I'm gonna create orange. 255, 165, I think, zero. Yep, that looks good. We've created the color orange. We can add it to this list here if we like. I'll just add it at the end. And that means that when the script runs, that first sequence where it fills up with certain colors, orange will be in there as well. But that's a bit of a blink and you miss it. So let's modify our script. I can see in this for loop, for every item in the list colors, it's going to fill the strip with that color, and then it's going to update the strip. 
I might just remove this by commenting it out and pressing Alt-3. I might just remove that and start the script with pixels fill orange and then pixels show. And then I'll sleep for, you know what? I'm just gonna stop the script there. I'm just going to create an infinite loop just so we can make sure this works. So I'll say while true, while true pass, this is like an empty loop. So that means that our script will start, it will make all the definitions, it will define orange, fill the script with orange, and then it will just stop. Let's see if that works. Well, there we have a nice solid orange. Neat. Maybe you can see the light in my hands, the nice orange light. There's a lot of lights in this studio. There you have it, a little bit of fun with a Raspberry Pi Pico and some WS2812B LEDs. I hope you learned something, I know I did. If you have any questions, feel free to start the conversation at the bottom of this article or start a thread in the Core Electronics forums. We're full-time makers and here to help. Thanks for watching.